an unknown, Zulu 445. Roger, understand a launch from the Soviet Union. Roger. Roger, understand side report valid, enter valid, and stand by for sync no out assessment. Good, enter the valid. Sir, the valid is in the system. General, at this time, we have indications of a launch from the Soviet Union. The side report is valid. Sir. show at the White House. The sirens have just gone off all over Washington, as you can probably hear. There is every indication that something has gone terribly wrong. There is a tremendous amount of activity going on at the White House, but I'm unable to convey to you any of what's going on. Nobody... West Berlin, 1989. A half city of over two million people and an outpost of the West situated 100 miles behind the Iron Curtain. It is surrounded by the communist state of East Germany and sealed off from its neighbors by the infamous Berlin Wall. Here in the heart of a divided Europe will unfold the events that ignite the Third World War. Behind the facade of its status as a military superpower, the Soviet Empire faces a deep political and economic crisis. Within the Kremlin, a fierce debate rages between those who dream of turning back the clock and those like Mikhail Gorbachev who are responding to the winds of change. We're talking about massive scale reforms, not details. If we don't plug into the people, if we don't listen to them, we'll never solve this country's problems. If we don't reform our political system, perestroika won't work. We can't solve our problems with old solutions. Meanwhile, in East Germany, discontent with the hardline communist regime of Erich Honecker is growing more vocal. East German secret police, the Stasi, are unleashed on the demonstrators. In September, thousands of East Germans, fed up with life under communism, stormed the West German embassy in Prague, seeking asylum. Before the exodus is halted, over 20,000 East Germans make their way to the West. <laughs> Ich will gar nicht bestreiten, dass wir damals ernste gesellschaftliche Probleme hatten. Nur als wir gerade dabei waren, Lösungen zu erarbeiten, da kam der Genosse Gorbatschow daher, zum 40. Jahrestag der DDR. Der Zeitpunkt war natürlich 
Denkbar ungünstig. Es war doch ganz offensichtlich, dass er vor allem diese Unruhen angeheizt hat. Seine Anwesenheit macht alles nur noch schlimmer. Many in East Germany have pinned their hopes on Mikhail Gorbachev to set the communist leadership on the path to reform. The Soviet party leader is seen as their last and only hope. At this critical moment, Gorbachev's international political influence is on the line. Erich Honecker, like most of the aging leadership in Eastern Europe, remains lost in the old communist rhetoric of the past. Was ich die deutsche demokratische Republik an der Westgrenze der sozialistischen Länder in Europa als Wellenbrecher gegen Neonazismus und Chauvinismus bewährt, wie die Sowjetunion, die uns befreit hat, wird die deutsche demokratische Republik zum Jahr 2000 diese Schwelle mit der Gewissheit überschreiten, dass nur dem Sozialismus die Zukunft gehört. Und jetzt? Und das alles nur, wenn ihr friedlich demonstrieren. Wir wollen nichts schrecklich. Wir wollen hier was Ich glaube, die Gefahren warten nur auf jene, die nicht auf das Leben Ich glaube, die Gefahren warten nur auf jene, die nicht auf das Leben reagieren. А тот, кто воспринимает импульсы жизни, общества и трансформирует их в соответствующую политику, того трудности не должны пугать. Это нормально. Спасибо, до свидания. These images of Gorbachev's departure from East Berlin are the last the world will ever see of him. His ultimate personal fate is not known. This is Radio Moscow. Following his return from celebrations in East Berlin, General Secretary Gorbachev has retired from office for reasons of ill health. In accordance with the wishes of Comrade Gorbachev, an emergency plenary session of the Central Committee has handed over leadership to Comrade General Vladimir Soshkin. Mr. President, do you know, do you know who is actually in What do you believe the motivation is served behind the, behind the coup? Why did they remove him? We don't know that. We don't know that. Uh, clearly, some of the hardliners have been concerned about the rapidity of, re of reform. They've been concerned about the uh, demise of the Communist Party per se. And uh, it's, uh, I think they've also been concerned about uh, the Soviet economy. But uh, I've said over and over again that we did not want to see a, a, a coup backed by the KGB and the military, and apparently that is what is underway. in Moscow throughout the night. Opponents of the coup have fought back bravely with rocks and Molotov cocktails. They are no match, however, against the heavily armed forces of the Soviet Interior Ministry, the so-called Black Berets. It is unknown how many people have been killed or wounded, but local hospitals are reporting hundreds of casualties. By dawn, the Soviet army has seized control of the city. All opposition is driven underground. The fate of the Soviet Empire is now in the hands of one man, General Vladimir Ilyanovich Soshkin.